Hello, welcome to the listening section. This time we'll go inside the inference questions. Inference questions ask you to use context clue and implied information to make educated guesses about the subject matter. Usually the question will include a word like imply or infer, which should be a hint that the speaker will not directly say the answer. In other words, inference questions ask the listener to show an understanding of the meaning of something when it is not directly stated in the lecture or conversation. Inference questions will usually look very similar to one of these examples. What can be inferred from the professor's discussion of X? What will the student probably do next? What is implied when the speaker says this? Replay a short segment. Sometimes the question will replay a sentence from the recording for you. Other times you will need to rely on your notes and memory to answer the question. Unfortunately, your notes may not always be much help, since you can't take notes or information that isn't there. So when you're answering inference questions, keep these points in mind. Never pick an answer that contradicts a main idea from the passage. As you're listening, pay attention to the speaker's tone. Listen to recordings of two speakers with different viewpoints about the same topic. What words do the speakers use to support their ideas? Are the words mainly positive or negative? Then look at how they imply positive or negative ideas without saying them directly. The correct answer will probably use some keywords not found in the recording. The implication is very similar to what's directly said. You do not need to make a large logical jump. The last point is the most important one. Even though we call these questions inference questions, they are very, very similar to detailed questions. The information is in the recording. Never draw from your own thoughts or experiences if they are not also spoken about in the recording. Now we may take a look at a sample question.